a common conceptual question regarding graphs of tangent and cotangent functions will be to determine the locations of at least two of the asymptotes of it. Now, for ours, we have a transformed tangent function. If I were to express this in terms of fundamental identities, I could call this negative 3 times. For the tangent, that would be the sine over the cosine. The angle will stay the same. Now, when we were determining the mother function for the tangent functions, one of the things that we pointed out is that it will frequently have a zero in its denominator. So vertical asymptote will occur. Well, oh, oh boy, will occur if cosine of theta is equal to zero. Now, if you think back to the mother function of y equals the cosine of theta, which theta values are going to give you a zero for the cosine? There's one, zero, negative one, zero, and one. So this guy right here and this guy right here would create a vertical asymptote. So if theta is equal to pi over two or if theta is equal to three pi over two. Now, in this example, though, theta is referring to the angle on the inside of the cosine. So what we're really saying is that if 2x plus pi over 4 is equal to pi over 2, or if 2x plus pi over 4 is equal to 3 pi over 2, in either of these cases, you're going to wind up with a vertical asymptote. Now, in order to solve these two equations, we'll start by subtracting pi over 4 from both sides. A common denominator will be necessary, so we'll multiply this pi over 2 by 2 over 2. So this would be 2 pi over 2 minus pi over, or excuse me, 2 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. That'll be pi over 4. Then we multiply both sides by 1 half, and we get x is equal to pi over 8. That will be one of our vertical asymptotes. Doing the same thing over here, we'll get a common denom denominator as 6 pi over 4 and subtract 1 pi over 4. 6 pi over 4 minus 1 pi over 4 will be 5 pi over 4. Then again, multiply both sides by 1 half and we'll get x is equal to 5 pi over 8. That would be the location of two vertical asymptotes.